left too hard. There he is, the cowboy, Bryn Watts. Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, pure power wrestling fans of all ages. I'm your old pal, Bulldog, and you are watching the 2023 Summer Sizzler Tournament. We're opening things up tonight with the cowboy, Bryn Watts, set to take on the road. Watch this now, Bryn Watts gonna go for some style points. I love when he does that. Only the cowboy gets the style points and sometimes that makes all the difference. As you can plainly hear and see, these Pure Power Wrestling fans absolutely love the cowboy. They literally cannot get enough of this guy. I'm a big fan too, I gotta to admit. Bryn Watts has some kind of charisma. More importantly, he's a brawler. He, 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 I love his style. He just He's ready to knuckle up and, and, and fight it out with anybody and everybody in the dressing room. He doesn't care. Here comes his opponent all the way from Sherwood Forest. It's the road. Rogue has steady been improving these last several months. A lot of ring time kind of kind of makes that happen, but you know you you, you got to have drive and you got to have heart. And Rogue's got a lot of that to his credit. I I. I hate to say, you know, that I don't like his chances, but Rogue lacks the experience that Rick Watts has, and that's a very significant advantage. So this is going to be a big, big test for Rogue. And Brim Watts has been in this game long enough to know not to take anyone lightly, especially someone like Rogue, who's been piling up victories. This one has all the makings of a barn burner. Let me hear you! You know, Brim Watts is trying to learn how to feed off the energy that these fans provide. And he's charged up now. He's yelling at Rogue to fight him. He wants to fight everybody. He's a, a he's just a, a a brawler. There's no two ways about it. But he's also you know when when the chips are down, Brim Watts is a very clever mat technician. He, he's he's very very good at wrestling. Brim Watts now got a nice side headlock on on Rogue. See if Rogue can find a way out or a way to reverse. Oh, no. Bryn Watts just advanced his position. Rogue now got to make sure he keeps both his shoulders off the mat. Or Ref Curtis, who is always right on top of the action, will start counting. Bryn Watts now softening up Rogue. Wait a sec. Rogue managed to roll his hips. He's going to try and power his way back to his feet. Try and find a Rogue the base. There he goes. Couple of elbows. Three. Now he's gonna try and power Brim Watts off. Oh! He had a little something going, but Brim Watts stopped it dead in its tracks with a hefty shoulder block and down went the rogue. Here we go now. Brim Watts off the ropes. Rogue looking for a hip toss. He got it. Watch this now, Rogue. Looks like he might be going. Oh. I think he might have been going for those uh, for, for those monkey flips that he's kind of almost patented in his own arsenal. Bryn Watts though with a hard right, stop that one. Wait a sec, Rogue now kicking away, looking for the sunset flip. Oh, Bryn Watts rolled through, looking for a, a ooh. Bryn Watts just about able to sink in that Texas Cloverleaf, but 
Rogue managed to kick him off and right through the ropes. Now Bryn Watts on the outside. Deer Power Wrestling fans are chanting, Cowboy, 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 trying to urge him on. Wait a minute now, watch Rogue. Ooh, kind of a baseball slide. Caught Bryn Watts right in the rib cage. Now Rogue to the outside. Oh, we're having this a good old-fashioned slugfest. I put my money down on Bryn Watts to win a slugfest with just about anybody in the locker room. Ref Curtis up to a count of four now. Bryn Watts positioning the Rogue on the apron. I don't like Rogue. If Bryn Watts lands this, I don't... Oh, that one right dead center in the, in the middle of the rib cage, right on the sternum bone. Is there a sternum bone? I don't know, I'll look it up later. Look at that leg drop! Right in the same exact spot, he dropped that elbow, trying to drive the wind out of the, out of the rogue, and I wouldn't be a bit surprised if he succeeded. Rogue out after two. But still looking a little worse for wear. Bryn Watts clearly the fresher man. PPW fans like it that way. And Bryn Watts dragging Rogue back to his feet. Time to open up with his strikes, it looks like. Oh, wait a minute. Irish horse. Or the Irish whip. Ooh. Rogue just caught Bryn Watts with a back elbow. Oh! Back elbow didn't stun Bryn Watts enough. He was able to dodge that, that high cross body attempt. Now he's yelling at the rope to get up. Bryn Watts with a nice, nice Larry. It puts the rope down and another one. Rogue manages to get back up though, to his credit. Here we go, Irish whip off the ropes. Rogue duck under a clothesline. Oh, there's the Luthez press. Luthez press, Bryn Watts hammering down rights on Rogue. Is he ever fired up? PPW fans are fired up as well. What a night for the Summer Sizzler. We have a, a sold out crowd. Again, I might add. Pure Power Wrestling, probably the top promotion in Western Canada. And, and, and people like Bryn Watts uh, are helping us maintain that position. Look at this though. One, two, oh! Out of nowhere! Rogue just, Rogue just rolled up Bryn Watts and won the match! I mean, this can be considered an upset for sure. Bryn Watts, a, a former champion, one of the, one of the heaviest hitters in the locker room, Bryn Watts, and the rogue the relative rookie just rolled him up and, and got a three count and a legit three count. Bryn Watts just shook Rogue's hand. Mac looks like he means business. Josh Kirby looks like he means to play around a little bit. Has two different mindsets. And I don't I don't uh, I don't favor Josh Kirby's mindset. At least that's what what, what uh, his body language is telling me. But make no mistake about it, Josh Kirby does in fact have the skill and ability to beat a guy who's got 100 pounds weight on him like Cody Mack does. We, we've seen uh, Josh Kirby in, in years gone past beat tag teams with bigger people. 
the kid's got the skill, he's got the speed, he's got the ability, now he's gaining more and more experience. He's a handful for anybody in that ring. But Cody Mack, like I said, he is uh, really well traveled and maybe more experienced than Josh Kirby. He was still putting on a little bit of a show. Cody Mack isn't going to have any of it. Josh Kirby turns out. Oh my goodness! Josh Kirby just turned into one of the biggest spears I've seen. Cody Mack just speared Josh Kirby out of his boots. And now up. Cody Mack down. One, two. Josh Kirby didn't even get his sunglasses off and it's over. Cody Mack with an impressive win. August 25th is coming, Kyle Sebastian. It's creeping up on us real, real fast. And if I was you, I'd be really worried about that. And I know you have been on cloud nine over the last year, strutting around Lethbridge, gyrating your hips and doing your backflips. And everybody in Southern Alberta thinks you're so cool. Well, I'll tell you one guy who doesn't think you're cool, and that's me. And I can't think of a more appropriate venue than Whoop Up Days to whoop your ass. Kyle Sebastian, I am going to stop your gravy train dead in its tracks because I'm a guy who knows all about you. I know your strengths. I know your weaknesses. In fact... I know those weaknesses better than anybody else. And I'm coming to Lethbridge on August 25th for one reason and one reason only. And that is to relieve you of the Pure Power Wrestling Championship. Kyle Sebastian, enjoy your final weeks as champion and being the cool kid in the locker room and around the streets of Lethbridge. Because your reign is coming to an end. Looks like we're about ready. Jeff Curtis going to call for that bell and we will be underway. Fans already chanting Dewey. Dewey, Dewey, Dewey. They love Dewey Robson. And why not? I mean, he's such a great, lovable guy. He's a fantastic character. Principally driven, loves kids. He votes on a regular basis, pays his taxes. He's a good guy. Oh boy, now the champ Rusty Steel goes out. Rusty Steel, that's that's pretty clever, but one thing Sidney Steel is not, and that's Rusty. As you can see, the polish on that side headlock. Chest is popped out. He's maximizing the leverage right around the head and or the, the, the lower ear and jaw area. Designed to wear down your opponent. And Sidney Steele knows how to do that job very, very well. However, Dewey Robson escaped that headlock. And he's got a, looks like a arm ringer, I guess. Steele trying to find a way out. Steel knows so many different escapes and so many different reversals for so many holds. These are things that only experience can teach you and Steel's learned a ton. He's got that wrist of, of Dewey Robson pinned right against his chest, making it even more difficult for Dewey to escape. Dewey, however, rolls out, rolls back into a hammer lock. A guy with shoulders like Sidney Steele can really be susceptible to this hammerlock. Generally bigger shoulders tend to be a little bit tighter. If Dewey can just crank that thumb into, into Steele's own scapula, he might have a chance, but Steele 
found a way out back to that arm bringer. Steele wisely keeping Dewey Robson grounded. Watch this now, watch this. He's gonna stomp on his he's gonna stomp on his hand. Oh, that looks painful. Steele now back to that headlock. Well, Steele's been known to cauliflower guy's ears with a simple headlock. Robson though powers him off. Ooh, eats a shoulder block. Steele, the, the noticeably larger man, had no troubles running Dewey Robson over. Now well, Steele off the ropes. Robson looking for a hip toss. Dewey or, or Steele says no way. Wait a second, watch this now. Robson turns a backflip. Ducks a clothesline, gets the arm drag. Sidney Steele doesn't seem to know what to think of that. And wait a minute, Dewey Robson over the top rope. Dewey Robson surprising Steele. Dewey take it over. He's got the upper hand now. Ref Curtis up to a two count, so Dewey knows he's got time to work. Oh, one more time. Fans want to see Dewey Rob one more time knocking Steele's head off the ring apron. I can tell you from personal experience, folks, that smarts. It rattles your brains a little bit. It can disorient you. You can see Steele trying to, to get his balance and get his legs under him. Oh! Oh! That's a dirty, dirty tactic, but it's clever. I mean, it's quick thinking, but that's an unfair advantage. That's a low blow. Ref Curtis admonishing Sidney Steele. Wait a second now. Steele was either raking the eyes or rubbing Dewey's forehead and nose into the mat. Steele starting to pick up the intensity. He's one of those guys who likes to take his time and picks his shots and inflict maximum damage. He, he expends a lot less energy that way in the long run. And he maximizes the, the adversity for his opponents. Oh! What a beautiful knee. Very deep into the solar plexus of Dewey Robson, Sidney Steele on the offensive. You want to see me hold him up there for a long, long time, huh? Oh boy. I think Sidney Steele just asked the fans. Oh! <laughs> okay, that was funny. Sidney Steele toying with the fans, although. You know, back to reality, you, you don't want to toy with the fans when you're wrestling a guy like Dewey Robson because he can change the, 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 the tide of the matchup in a heartbeat. Steele better not let his attention get distracted too much. Otherwise, Dewey might do exactly what he's doing now. Ooh. Dewey stops short from an elbow right in the back of the neck in the trapezius area. I can send like electric shivers down your spine and make your toes go numb. Oh, watch this neck breaker. Ooh. Looks like Steele's focusing his attack on the neck and, and, and upper back of Dewey Robson. And quite naturally the face, chest, neck, breast and head. Sidney Steele, by the way, has been in more than one Iron Man match. Not a 60 minute long matchup, which is absolutely grueling. I'm telling you something about the condition that Sidney Steele keeps himself in all the time. 
And you can tell he hasn't even started sweating in this matchup, which is rare for a heavyweight. Heavyweights generally tend to burn energy and they run a little bit hotter, they sweat a little bit more. But you can see steel is dry as a lizard. Dewey Robson trying to figure out what he's going to do next. So is Steele, but Robson quicker to the punch with a back elbow. Now a clothesline puts Steele right back onto the canvas. Here we go now off the rope. Dewey looking for that high leg. It finds its mark and Steele is on Dream Street. Ref Curtis with a one, two, call it two and a half. Robson now dragging Steele back to his feet. Works him into the corner. Nice forearm. Dewey's got really nice forearms. When he lays him in, he really lays him in. Hope Steele ducked under that one. Steele with a right. And a choke. Jeff Curtis trying to get Steele off of Robson. Ooh! Sidney Steele, big mistake. He just, I think Steele just pushed Ref Curtis. Oh no. Sidney Steele about to, oh. Dewey Robson lucky enough to get out of the way. See Steele, that hurt his hands when he swung that chair. Now Dewey has it. I wonder if Dewey's going to give Steele a taste of his own medicine. Better do it quick before Ref Curtis looks up and sees it. Steele begging. Oh, wait a second. Oh, oh, come on now. Sidney Steele just pulled a fast one. Sidney Steele just pulled a fast one and he just got this qualification victory over Dewey Robson. He's always been a fan favorite. He's never gone down the wrong path. He never turned his back on his fans for money or more wins. He's earned every single victory he's got. He struggled through adversity and then, oh! Tyler Knox not waiting for the bell to start this match. Bit of a Pearl Harbor attack now. Knox to, to the outside looking for oh! Travis Copeland just ate a running lariat from Tyler Knox and this match isn't even underway yet and this is what I'm talking about this is Tyler Knox trying to escape adversity he's trying to get an early advantage that's Travis the Heat, hoping you're trying to Pearl Harbor there, son. This guy's tougher than, oh, oh, oh. I'm not gonna win, Wow. Travis Copeland just, uh, just got launched into the ring steps. The bell hasn't even rung yet. Now Tyler Knox is satisfied. He's done enough pre-match damage. He's increases his chances now and he'll start the, the during the match assault. Ah, 
up and oh, solid landing. Travis Copeland, you can see the pain etched on his face. Oh, Tyler Knox now doing a little bit more damage to that lower back of, of, of Travis Copeland. In fact, uh, I mean, he may as well be going for a camel clutch, but what that chin lock will do. Travis Copeland, though, he's fighting his way back up. Buries an elbow in the sternum of two. Buried a couple elbows in the sternum of Tyler Knox, and then Tyler Knox decided to get a handful of hair and pull Travis Copeland onto the back of his head because he's such a fair guy. Here we go. Tyler Knox, Irish whip into the corner, looking for ooh, backbreaker. Clearly, Tyler Knox has focused his attention on the, the middle and lower back of Travis Copeland. Not a bad strategy, actually, when you think about it. This is what I mean. Tyler Knox has the, the ability. He's got the skills. He learned this it, 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 it's like quicker than most people I've seen learn. He continues to learn. He, he's got great instincts. He just does not like adversity. Wait a sec, THC managed to land an elbow. He's out of that waist lock. Irish whip reversal, Tyler Knox. Ooh. Close line put Travis Copeland down. One, two, and oh, there's no way. There's no way you're gonna pin Travis Copeland like that after so little offense. You might have to hit him with a sledgehammer before you can hit him, or before you can pin him, I don't know. The toughness of Travis Copeland is really not on any scale or chart anywhere you find. Look at this. Tyler Knox with a rather nice bow and arrow. Oh, wait a second. THC found a way to kick out of that pinning predicament. Knox had him tied up pretty good. THC fires back. Boom, boom. But, ooh. That like a, a knee right in the eye. Shut up. Tyler Knox really does not like these fans, and it shows there. He doesn't have an ounce of respect for them. And I don't know that he ever will. Just delivered a solid kick right in the breadbasket of Travis Copeland. Looking for a Ooh! Sit that one out. One, two, Travis Copeland kick out, but oh, the damage that got done. Tyler Knox now wise enough to to choose a hole that's going to wear Travis Copeland down, but use a very little bit of Tyler Knox's own energy. Ref Curtis right on top of the action to make sure nothing illegal happens. Wait, THC managed to power out of that. Well done, THC, and he's firing back. Tyler Knox eating a few rights. This now THC looking for an Irish whip. Knox reverse THC up and over. Ooh, Knox ran into a right. Travis Copeland now up on the top turn, but oh, look at that missile drop kick! Look at the missile drop kick. THC with a cover. One, two. Ooh, that was close. Tyler Knox showing a little bit of toughness, kicking out just before Ref Curtis brought his hand down the third time. That was just about over. High knee finds its mark, followed by another one. And a full elbow right on the trapezius area. Tyler Knox dropped to his knees from that elbow. Travis Copeland. He can hang with the best when it comes to strikes. Oh, wow! 
Travis Copeland with a, with a set out suplex of his own. Manages a two count. Travis Copeland, now that he's in control, he's gonna set a pace that he likes. Starting with a body slam. Looks like he's gonna look for an elbow. Whoa, what found its mark. Tyler Knox did not like that, or the second one. Three times a charm. Tyler Knox trying to get out of dodge, but THC right on top. For a two count. Travis Copeland, a, a, a quite a creative guy when it comes to offense. Although that was just a beefy right hand. Followed by another one. Travis Copeland not shy with his fists and feet tonight. Let's get him going. Here we go, Irish whip, Tyler Knox reverse, THC into the buckle. And oh, Tyler Knox just walked into a size 11. DHC looking for, oh, up and over. I love that maneuver. Tyler Knox has not moved since, oh. Oh, I guess Tyler Knox has moved, but it was just before the three count again. Can't believe he kicked out of that. Travis Copeland can't believe he kicked out of that. These fans are getting Travis Copeland fired up and, and Travis Copeland is getting these fans fired up. Here we go, look at, oh, Tyler Knox managed to, to, oh my goodness, the power ball, or the bat, spine buster rather, sorry. THC barely managed to kick out, that was a hard spine buster. Tyler Knox, he, he, he look a shock on his face, he thought, he thought for sure he won it there. Tyler Knox now back to the assault. Looking for an Irish whip, it looks like, oh wait a minute. Arm ringer first, there's the Irish whip. Travis Copeland off the rope, got Tyler Knox clothesline. Oh! Oh, I think both men had the same idea at the same time and it went south for each of them. THC is laying prone. Tyler Knox is more in, in, a, in, a, in a pile. Fans trying to help Will THC back to his feet. He manages to get there, but Tyler Knox is up first. Oh, Tyler Knox just walked into an elbow and a clothesline. This is what I mean. THC is so damn tough. Just when you think you might have him on the ropes, he, 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 he explodes with the flurry of offense and Tyler Knox is on his heels. He's really, oh, wait a second. I mean, it's a little cheap, but it's not illegal. Tyler Knox looking for a roll up. He's got a handful of tights. Tyler Knox had a handful of tights. Tyler Knox took a chance and grabbed a handful of tights and it paid off again. Unbelievable. 